Now this was the control tower at Nathanstead. We decided there was no way to get it down. The only way to get it down was to drill it and put explosives in it. That was Mike uh, Shannon's car. And we drilled all around the outside and put uh, gelignite in and then uh, did it into two, two layers. That's, that's the fuse cord that Mike Shannon's got over his arm now, not over his shoulder. And we, that's it, that's putting the gelignite in with a detonator in, and that's called Cortex, that fuse, it's explosive fuse, not um, sort of a safety fuse, it just goes off, the whole lot goes off together, it explodes and explodes the um, piece of jellica out there, the neuron clay in the hole, and the theory is it should, it'll blow the wall out. Wasn't very successful, as you'll see in a minute. There's Tiffin having it. ramming the explosive in. I managed to get a license to use explosive because I had experience of it in the army being a, in the Royal Engineers so I organised the whole job. There's Tony Barker. And that's all the fuse, all, all the gelignite's in and the cortex fuse is hanging out ready, ready for exploding. I don't know what happened here, so I was changing the film, yes. This is the old days when you used to have to run half the film to then take it out and turn it over. It's the cortex fuse coming back to a detonator and then through the cable back to the shed where we exploded it. As the local policeman came up to see what was going on, there's our depot, our first shed over there. Here he comes, and Tony Barker's Land Rover. goes well, we put the ends onto a 12 volt battery and the whole lot should go boom. And there it is, now we shall watch it. That's the thing. We're well away with cable and we blow it in a moment. There it goes. But as you see, it still stands. All we did was blow a section out of the wall and the thing settled down on it. There was so much reinforcement in it we couldn't get it down. But at least the explosive worked. And they just settled, as you can see. But it's all reinforced, the reinforced all the way through, and we couldn't get it down. We had to pull it out in the end with the tractors. And we were left with a great big heap of rubble, which we did eventually clear, but it cost us a lot of money. You can see all the reinforcement there. It just wouldn't collapse. We blew the bottom out, and that's what happened. All the rest of the structure stayed together with the reinforcing rods. But it was interesting.